The following video asks us to multiply polynomials. And when we multiply polynomials, the way we do it is we multiply the first term of the first polynomial times all the terms of the other. And then the same thing for the second, third, and so on. So in this case, we multiply the 2x times the x squared, which gives us 2x to the third power. And then the 2x times the 4x which gives us 8x squared, because there's x times x is x squared. And then the 2x times um, the negative 5, which gives us a negative 10x. Now we move to the 3. We're going to multiply the negative 3 times x squared and get negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times negative 4x and get a positive 12x. And then we're going to do a negative 3 times a uh, negative 5 to get a positive 15. And it's now time to add like terms. I like to start with the highest power, so we start with 2x cubed. And we look, are there any other 2x cubed? Which there is not. So we just write it down. Now we look at the x squareds. Are there other x squareds? Well, yeah, there's an 8x squared and a negative 3x squared. Well, 8x squared minus 3x squared gives us a positive 5x squared. I like to cross it out after I've done it just to make sure I know I've taken care of all the terms. And then I've got a negative 10x and a negative 12x. Well, negative 10x plus negative 12x is a negative 22x. And then finally, we're left with the positive uh, 15. So the final answer is 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x plus 15. In the second example, we, do, we start the same way. We're going to multiply the first term times all three terms in the other polynomial. So x times x squared, which is x to the third. x times a negative 2x, which would give us a negative 2x squared. And then x times 4, which would give us a positive 4x. And finally, we're going to multiply 2 times each um, thing in the, third, the second polynomial. So 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times negative 2x is a negative 4x, and 2 times 4 is a positive 8. Once we've done the multiplication, we add like terms again. Uh, as there was before, there's only one x to the third term, so we write it down. And then we, there's a negative 2x squared and a positive 2x squared. Now, this is an interesting case. When this happens, well, negative 2x squared plus 2x squared just equals 0. So we cross it out. We don't have to write anything down. Then we have 4x minus 4x, which had happened again. So again, we have no x term either. So no x squared term or x term. And then what's left over is the 8, and we end up with x to the third plus 8, which is actually what we, you'll learn later on is a sum of two cubes.